This tutorial will show you how to get started quickly with Tap to Talk Designer. When you purchased your subscription, you were emailed a password with instructions for accessing the Tap to Talk Designer website. Click on the link in the email or go to www.mytaptotalk.com. Notice a couple of things on the login page. Product news is where new product features and enhancements are announced. The Forgot Your Password link is there for you to get a new password should you forget yours. Just click on it and then enter the email on your account. A new password will be mailed to you immediately. From the Designer Login page, enter your email address and password. You can click on the Remember checkboxes if you don't want to retype them every time you log in. If you want to change the email address or password on your account, just click on My Account. You can do that at any time. Next, click on Help. The online help has lots of guides and videos with step-by-step -step instructions on using Tap to Talk Designer and the different Tap to Talk apps. The guide called Tap to Talk Designer Getting Started is a good introduction to how Tap to Talk Designer works and is a roadmap to our other guides and videos. Now let's look at the My Tap to Talk page. Start by naming your Tap to Talk. If you are a pro or agency subscriber, you have more than one Tap to Talk to name but you can do that later. To give the Tap to Talk a name, click on New. Enter the name you want into the name field in the middle panel. Most people use the name of the child who will use that specific Tap to Talk, but you can use any name up to 20 characters that will uniquely identify it. Notice the 10-digit number. This is called the Tap to Talk ID and it is how Tap to Talk Designer uniquely identifies this Tap to Talk from all the others. You use it to configure the iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and Android apps, so you may want to write it down. You may want to give your Tap to Talk a password at this time. We recommend that it is different from your Tap to Talk Designer login. You have now created your first Tap to Talk. You can give your Tap to Talk ID and password to other caregivers so they can download your child's albums to their device or use it on the web app. Next, you will want to create albums. Albums are the groups of pictures and sounds that you will publish to your child's device. To begin adding albums, click on the name of the Tap to Talk that you just created and then click on Albums. The left-hand panel of the page will eventually have the list of albums that you have created. Since you are just getting started, there are no albums. A quick way to get started is to use one of the many starter albums in the standard library as a template. These are the same albums that are preloaded on the Nintendo Starter Kit or that you may have downloaded when you registered your free app. We are adding new starter albums all the time. You should see the starter albums in the middle pane of your screen. If you don't, Click on the word Standard in the right-hand pane, then the word General. Select one or more of the starter albums by clicking on the picture or the checkbox below it. Click on Add to Tap to Talk. This will copy the starter albums that you selected into your Tap to Talk. You can then see how the album was designed and make changes to it by clicking on Edit. This takes you to Album Outliner. You can see how the pictures were organized in an outline to bring your child's album to life. If you don't like your changes and want to restore the original starter album, you can delete your version and copy it out of the library again. When you are ready to start your own album from scratch, click on New from the Albums in Tap to Talk page. 
To learn more about how to use Album Outliner to add and replace pictures, start by reading the guide called Using Album Outliner in the Online Help. Last, if you need product support, go to the www.taptotalk.com site and click on Contact. Click on Customer Support. On the right is a list of the most frequently asked questions. Please check those first. If you don't find an answer there, fill in the form on the left with your contact information and question. We do list a phone number and email address as well. However, all requests are answered in the order that we receive them. We try our best to answer your request on the same business day. This ends the tutorial on getting started with Tap to Talk Designer.